Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of the Star Wars Black Series Kylo Ren action figure made by Hasbro. And this is based on the Star Wars Episode 7 Force Awakens movie. Can't wait for this movie to come out. And this character here, I'm not, I don't know a whole hell of a lot about this guy. I did read that despite the fact that he's a villain, he dresses in all black and uses a red lightsaber and works with stormtroopers, he is not a Sith. This is what I have read. He has something to do with a Sith, related to them in some way, but he's not a Sith. So that's why he's not Darth anything. I don't know. I don't know what his deal is. But here's the description. It says... A dark warrior, strong with a force, Kylo Ren commands First Order missions with a temper as fiery as his unconventional lightsaber. But you can see these Star Wars Black Series have a new box design. It's got the red background. It's got this slant up here. It gives us space to have this nice little picture there. I like that. And just a little opening at the top. Well, not opening, but you can see in there. The side's red with the number. He's a number three. So... Yeah, I like the new box design, but I think it's time to open this guy. So let's open him. So there he is opened up. And I really like the figure. I mean, like I said, I don't know a whole hell of a lot about this guy, but he looked cool in the trailers, and I think the figure looks cool too. Um, back and forth on some of these figures that have the cloth. I think it's all right on this one because it's a good mixture of cloth and plastic. And I think it looks good for his, his head there. I guess you can pull that back and see his helmet without the cloth on it. Doesn't look like it wants to stay up too well. You could probably fold it back and get it to stay. But yeah, I think he looks pretty cool. I I really like this figure. I know the Disney store exclusive Elite figure, the die cast one. It's like basically there's no cloth on it, and it looks cool too. So I think it looks cool either way with them, with that real cloth or sculpted. Usually I don't like the real cloth, but for this one I'm okay. Um, I do like the design of this guy. He definitely looks like a Darth Maul, Darth Vader type villain. Despite the fact that he's not a Darth or a Sith. I really hope I explain that, because I don't get it. Like, he's, they just like that he just likes the Sith. Or that he's another, just a different dark side of the Force character that has nothing to do with the Sith. I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't follow the rules of the Sith. Or it's a different sect of the dark side. I don't know how the hell it works. But, yeah, I like him. I like his design. I like his face. It looks really cool. It looks sort of Darth Vader-ish. He's all dressed in black. He's got the black eyes. You can't see no expression. So, very Darth Vader-like. I'm wondering about I'm wondering about this lightsaber though, because I mean I'm not talking about the controversy of the silliness of it, because uh, it doesn't bother me that much. It's a little weird. But what bothers me is this actual figure is these little pieces that connect like that connect all three of the. Uh, the little beams that come out or whatever. I mean, it, uh, it almost makes me think they just did it for this figure to make this all one piece and they just thought that'd be easier. Because in the trailers, they don't show these little connecting thingies. It's kind of weird. So I don't know if that actually happens in a movie or if they just did that for this figure. But other than that, it's kind of cool. It's weird how it almost is like, it looks like a candle in a way that the, uh, like it doesn't look like a solid beam, a smooth beam or whatever. It's got like little vein looking things going up and I don't know weird lightsaber maybe he didn't make it properly or something I don't know but yeah I like his design I like the uh, I like the ribbed arms he's got here it's kind of like the stormtroopers out of the rib joints I like his his arms like that and then down on the this cloth underneath here is like that too made of plastic but it's got like that rib design and I like the way the fabric is too it's like you can see the fabric has sort of a design to it a pattern that's kind of interesting. He's got this plastic belt up here. And then the cloth up here is plastic, which looks really cool. What's as cool as this look, it almost makes me wonder if the entire suit would have looked cooler if it was made that way. So I don't know. I'm back and forth on whether they should have done that. No, I'm thinking about it. He kind of also looks like from Lord of the Rings, the Ring Wraiths. He looks like that a little bit with this like sort of ragged cloth hanging off the back here. Uh, look at his helmet here, because I like I like his helmet. You can see he's got that silver design, which is really cool. It's painted on there pretty well. It looks like it could have been done a little better, but it's decent enough. And it almost looks like that mask on the front there kind of reminds me of Road Warrior. Like Mad Max Road Warrior. <laughs> well, he's pretty cool. 
I like him. I like his helmet. And I like how you can, if you do fold his back, you can get his hood to stay back. So that's cool. I don't know how often he has it down, but you can do it if you want. But it looks pretty cool up. I like it up. And there you can see his belt. It's got a little design on it there. Not a whole lot going on in his hands, just more of the ribbed design. Get a look at his lightsaber handle. See, it's got a little varying paint on there. It's like a little gold piece, black and silver. And then you got the red piece up here. It's so like I said, I just think it's weird they have this connecting pieces. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Like most of the Jedi and Sith figures, you can take the uh, light part off of the lightsaber. And it's just the saber or whatever. I don't know. Just a handle, I guess you'd say. That's probably why they made this all one piece, so you can take it off all one piece, but yeah, that's kind of silly. Should have made it just three separate pieces if that's the way it's supposed to be. And then here's his boots. They're pretty plain. They got some like straps on it. Look like biker boots almost. Well, yeah, I really like him. He's really cool looking. So I guess I'll go over articulation. He's got a single joint at the elbows, but it still moves pretty well. And joint at the wrist. Yep, nice articulation at the wrist. At the shoulders, really good. Over here, is it hindered? It's hindered a little bit by this cape. But not too bad. Yeah, you can still mostly get them in any position you'd want. The head articulation, slightly limited. Yeah, he doesn't really look up and down very well because of this cape wrapped around his head. But he could turn side to side. Torso articulation is good. Looks like his cape will not hinder him at all in his leg articulation. It's very flexible. So. No problems there. It's got double jointed knees. Really awesome ankle articulation like most of these guys have. So, awesome articulation on this figure. Now, despite the fact that he's not a Sith, he is supposed to be related to them in some way. And Darth Vader, it's from the trailers, it makes it look like Darth Vader might be related. Like, like he might consider Darth Vader a hero or something. <laughs> like, he emulates Darth Vader. I don't know. I don't understand it exactly until the movie comes out. But here he is next to Darth Vader. See the Darth Vader figure is a little bit taller. Well, actually a lot taller. <laughs> They're both pretty intimidating. And here's Darth Maul. And he's a shorty. Which he, yeah, he's the shortest one there. And here you got the Emperor. Palpatine. With his cloth cape. So they look all pretty cool together. If you see my uh, Bandai review Darth Vader, I prefer this Bandai building set Darth Vader to the, to the Star Wars black one. I think this one just looks better. They're all pretty intimidating. Pretty awesome looking. <laughs> and they're all just pretty like pretty girls. <laughs> I just like to say pretty. And here he is next to some First Order Stormtroopers since he seems to command them. Or at least fight with them or something. So that's cool. It's very Darth Vader like seeing the guy in all black commanding the guys in all white. So I think this is a really well done figure. Just like most of the Black Series figures, I think it's really awesome. The articulation is awesome, the sculpt's awesome. Paint job's pretty good. And the cloth, well, the cloth part, you just have to decide on your own. Do you like the cloth or would you rather be sculpted plastic? I could go either way on this figure. Uh, I do like the cloth mixed with the sculpted. And I'm not too sure about that lightsaber. I think I'd rather it be three pieces, like I showed in the trailer, but I don't know, maybe it, it does what it does there at some point in the movie, I don't know. But pretty much everything about this figure is pretty cool, I think. It's pretty badass. I like it. So if you see him, pick him up. Hopefully he's as awesome in the movie as he seems he'd like he will be in the trailer. Well, this is Mr. Evil Tease. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. The Jedi's are going to be really surprised when they find out that we're all still alive. <laughs> Hey guys, hey guys, hey, who the hell's over there? Hi guys, I think you guys are awesome. Can I hang out with you guys? Oh, could, could you sign my lightsaber? I think Darth Maul, you're so badass. I love your horse. Darth Vader, I modeled my whole suit after you. Oh, Emperor, I like the robes, man. I'm digging the robes. Who are you? I'm Kylo Ren. Can I be like a Darth? I want to be Darth Ren. Or Darth Kylo Ren. Something like that. What about... I'm a Darth, Darth triple bladed lightsaber. What do you, th what do you think about that, Darth Maul? You think you got a crazy lightsaber? Look at my, look at my lightsaber. It's got, it's got three blades on it. What yours got two? Whoa, that's not as cool. Hey, where are you guys going?
Guys, I just want to hang out. Come on, please. Oh, man. I'm just... <laughs> now I gotta move back in with my mom. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh, damn it.